In this video, we're going to have a look at vectors, and we're going to see how it doesn't really matter what route you take. What is important when uh, coming up with uh, describing a vector is knowing the start point and the end point. Okay, so you could take all sorts of journeys, but if they have the same start point and end point, the resultant vectors will be identical. Okay, it doesn't matter if you take the long way, the scenic route, or if you fly directly as a crow would, you get the same components at the end of the day. Okay, so if we were to look at this parallelogram, and you can see that the journey from P to Q is A, and the journey from Q to R is described as vector B. Now, if you were asked to express PR in terms of A and B, to go from PR directly, we don't have the information. But we can take the scenic route and go via Q. And you would just say, well, it's the journey PQ plus the journey QR. So that's just vector A plus vector B, and that's you done. Now, if we're asked to express SQ in terms of A and B, SQ takes you directly up like that, but again, we don't have the information we need. So, because it's a parallelogram, if we go via R, we can say that the journey from S to R, the set of instructions that would take you there, would be the same as the set of instructions that would take you from P to Q. So, SR is the journey of the vector A. Now, we want to go from R to Q. Now, that's in magnitude, it's the same as the vector QR, but the direction is different. So, because we're going in the opposite direction to vector B, we are going to call that negative B. So we're adding negative B. So we end up with SQ being described as A minus B. And that's all there is to it. If we look at this trapezium, and we're told that the top uh, edge is twice uh, the size of the bottom, and you know that the vector from A to B is U, you know the vector from B to C is V, and you're told that M is the midpoint of the side BC. If you're asked to find, in terms of the vectors U and V, the journeys DC, AC, AD, DM, and DM, let's see what we would do. Now, to go from D to C, you are going twice as far as you are from A to B, and you're going in the same direction. So we say DC is just 2U. To go from A to C, you go from A to B, to C, so it's just the sum of the two vectors you're given, it's U plus V. To go from A to D, you go from A to B to C and then back the way to D. So it's going to be U plus V, but then to go from C to D, you would describe that journey going back the way as negative 2U. So you say it's U plus V minus 2U. To go from B to M, to go up to the midpoint, it's just going to be a half of vector v. You're going half the journey, so it's half the vector. And to go from d to m, finally, you're going from d along to c, and then down like that. So it's going to be 2u, and then to describe this journey down, because we're going in the opposite direction to vector v, it's going to be negative a half of v. So we say it's 2u minus a half of v. And that's how you use vectors to describe other journeys. So it doesn't matter what route you take, as long as you get there and you've got the same start point and end point, then you can use these vectors to describe a journey. And it doesn't matter whether you take a long way or a short way, the components will end up being the same. Okay, so I hope that was helpful and I hope you're now able to describe vectors in, or journeys in terms of vectors. Okay.